this video i'm going to teach you how to calculate a cgpa i'm going to teach you in this video how to calculate cgpa which is cumulative grade point average so now to calculate cgpa i would like us to start from your course registration and here is mine from the federal university of technology mina the student course registration form so take a look at this course registration form critically here is my name and here is my uh, matric number and my passport so let's look at uh, the courses this is for 2021 stroke 2022 academic session the first mr courses register here about one two three four five six seven courses Second semester also have seven courses, and these are the course titles, and these are the uh, the unit, the credit unit. This is the semester first semester, and the nature. They are co. They are all co courses. So the same goes with the second semester, and my course registration is duly signed by the level advisor. HOD, Dean, and the Registrar, and the Stamp. So this shows you that this consideration is valid. So let's go back to our Excel sheet and see how we can compute our CGPA. It's all right. So, welcome back to the Excel sheet. Now, this is just what is on the course registration form. All of this is what I have copied to my Excel sheet so that it will help me to calculate, do the arithmetic more effectively. So that it will help me do the arith arithmetic more effectively. Now, let's look at this. The same information, we have our course code, GSC311, that is for first semester. So the whole of this side is for first semester. The whole of this side, this is for first semester. Let me give it a color. This is for first semester, and this side is for second semester. Let me give it a color as well. This is for second semester, first semester, and second semester. These are the courses, and these are the courses. So we have two unit courses. We have three unit courses. We have one unit course. We have four unit courses, and even some like the project, the 500 level, is six unit course. So I would like us to know the significance of a unit, having a unit. So let's look at the significance. Now, this is a very important key that will help you in calculating of your CGPA. We have grade here, you know, commonly we have A, B, C, D, E, and F. This is Nigerian grade. But when you go to places like US, they have what is called A plus, A, and A minus. But here, we are st strictly A is A. So we have A, B, C, D, E, and F. And points scored. Now for A, if you have an A in a course, it means you have five points in that course. And if you have a B in a course, it means you have four points in that course. And if you have a C in a course, it means you have three points. If you have D, you have one point. You have E, you have... No, if you have D, you have two points. If you have E, you have one point, and if you have F, you don't have any point at all. That is zero. So let's look at for a one credit unit course. For a one credit unit course, as we have it here, for a one credit unit course, if you have an A, it means you are going to do A times one. You understand? That is five times one, the point times one. You are going to have five. 5 times 1 is what is 5. So, and for one unit course also, if you have B, then 1, which is for that unit of that course, times B, which the point score for B is 4. 1 times 4, you are going to have 4. The same with C, which is 3. 3 times 1, you are going to have 3. D, which is 2. 2 times 1, you are going to have 2. And E, which is 1. 1 times 1, you have 1. And then F, which is 0. Anything multiplying 0 is zero so that is why when you have f you it means you carry over the course you don't have any points in that course it's all right so let's look at for two units 
a two unit cost, a two unit load cost. What does it mean for have an A? It means that if you have an A in a two unit cost, you are going to have two times five. This two units times five, which is going to give you ten. And you have a B, it means you are going to have two times four, which is going to give you an eight. If you have a C, which you have three point here, three times two is going to give you six. And you have a D, which is two. Two times two is going to give you four. And you have E, which is one. One times two will give you two. And you have F, which is zero. Zero times two will give you zero. So that is what it means. Now let's also look at three. The same thing happens for three and four credit load. Now for three credit load now, we know that A is five points. Then five times three is going to give you 15. That means if you have an A in a three unit course, you have 15 points down. Now, if you have an B, a B in a three unit course, it means you are going to have four times three, which is 12 points. And you have C, you are going to have three times three, which is nine points. If you have D, you are going to have two times three, which is six points. If you have E, you are going to have one times three, which is three points. And if you have F, it's going to be zero times three, which is zero. So also for the four credit load, if you have an A, which is five points, five times four will give you 20. So scoring an A in a four credit load means you have 20 points down. And then B will give you a system, which is four times four. Then C, which is three times four, will give you 12. Then D, which is two times four, will give you eight. Then E, which is one times four, will give you four. Then F, which is 0 times 4, will give you 0. So I hope this point is very understood. This is very, very important at Pivotal when you are calculating your CGPA. So let's move to the computation page. Let's move to the computation page and see what we have there now. All right. So let's look at this page now. This is my first semester result now, exactly the way it was. This is my first semester result. So, for GST 311, which is a two credit load, I have A. And remember, A is five points, and five times two will give me what? Ten. So I have ten there. Then the, the next one, which is abstract algebra mass 311, which is three credit load, I have a B, which is what? Four times three. Remember, our key is here. Four times this a, a a a three credit load four times three which is what 12 so i have 12 point here so mathematical method two which is math 312 three credit load i had an a which is going to be three times five which is what 15 so this is going to be 15 point here so the next one, the fourth course, which is Math 313 Reanalysis 2, which is three credit low, and I had an A, which is also 15 points. Then Complex Analysis 1, three credit load, and A, which is 15 points. Also Analytical Dynamics, and A, which is still three credit load, 15 points. Now, Start 311, Statistical Inference 1, Three credit load and that is a C and that is going to give you three times three times three which is what nine add a nine there so the next point to do now the next thing to do now is to add all the grade points add all your scores together all the points that you have gotten so using my Excel now if I use a calculator you can just use your calculator but Excel now So the next thing I will do now is to add all the grade points together. I'm going to add up all these points. Let me give this a color. I'm going to add up all these points. So using my Excel sheet now, I'm going to be using the formula to sum it equal to sum.
from here to here enter I have 91 91 point there so now if I use a calculator you can just use your calculator to type it out now that is what I have there that is a total point so let's now look at the unit you also have to add up all the units the the, the, the the unit load add them the total here is 20 remember this formula is equal to sum of d10 to d16 and it's going to give you 20 so to get your gpa for the first semester now this is how to calculate it to get your gpa now you are going to divide equal to i'm going to divide this this is cell f17 by cell f at d17 and i have 4.55 exactly i have 4.55 so this is how to do it now if you are using your manual calculator just do 91 divided by 20 and you're going to have 4.55 so this is your gpa for the first semester this is your gpa for the first semester so now let's take a dive into the second semester and do the same computation and see what we have all right so in the second semester now we have abstract algebra 2 that is mass 321 and the the score there is a and it's a two credit load that means we are going to have a total of what 10 points we are going to have 10 points so also the second course here which is mass 32 vector and tensor analysis the is a three unit course and you have a which is going to give you 15 points 15 points that is uh, five times three and then the third one which is mass three to one complex analysis two you have the unit is two credit load and you have an a which is going to give you 10 so now let's look at the, the fourth one which is mass 325 mathematical method 3 it's a 3 credit load and you have an A which is going to be 15 the fifth one now which is mass 329 history of mathematics 2 credit load and you have an A which is going to give you 10 points moving down to star 323 3, statistical quality control and the street credit load you have an a which is obviously 15. the last one must three start three to eight which is biometric three credit load will also give you uh but then is a b here that means we're going to have four times three which is 12. four times three which is 12. so also the same procedure you are going to add the total credit load which is sums up to be 18 add up all this total credit load it sums up to be 18 and then for here now there was an automatic addition because i've already imputed a formula to compute all of this so as i was doing it it was adding automatically so this is what you have here now the gpa for second semester is like the first semester just the same method of computation the same method of computation we have it to be we're going to have it to be equal to sum from here down to here you can use your calculator to calculate it sorry so remember now your gpa now is going to be the division of your total grade point by your total credit load total grade point divided by total credit load which is going to be equal to F28 divided by D28 and you have 4.83 that is your, your your GP for second semester 4.83 so the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to compute our CGPA remember CGPA means cumulative grade point average cumulative grade point average so how do we calculate our CGPA CGP is the addition of the total grade point for first semester and second semester divided by the total average, I mean the total credit load 
of both the first semester and the second semester. So how do we do that now? Let me write out something here. First of all, let me write a formula to sum these two together. So the first one I'm going to do here is I'm going to do 91. Remember, this is the total uh, grade point there. I'm going to do 91 plus. 91 is going to plus um, 87. Those are the two total grade points for the both semester. And if I do that, I'm going to have 178. 178. So I'm also going to add... I'm also going to add my total grade point here. I mean my total unit load. I'm going to add my total unit load, which is 20 here, plus 18 here. And I have 38. I have 38 total credit load for both semesters. So now what I'm going to do now, the CGPA now is equal to the, I've already told you, is equal to this now, the total CGPA is equal to the total uh, uh, grade point of the both semesters divided by divided by the the total credit load of both semester, and that is going to give me four point six eight. This is four point. Let me make it bold. This is four point six eight. So successfully, we have computed. CGPA successfully have com computed CGPA for a for one session. This is just one session CGPA.